All right, well, first off, uh, the first long, well, the, the road trip, uh, a long one, your longest one you guys will have this year, but it didn't, it appears as a result, you guys didn't uh, seem to mind too much. No, it was fun. You know, 20 hours on the bus was good for us as a team to come together and uh, build a little camaraderie and a uh, morale builder, for sure. Yeah, you guys do it. I mean, coming in, Dixie State uh, was leading the conference, what, in, in defense? Russian defense, and, yeah. And uh, you guys just took care of that, huh? Took it as a challenge. You know, the coach put a lot on the offensive uh, side of the ball to uh, put them to a test, and I think we did a really good job of that. Um, so uh, this week, uh, Central Washington, the years past, I mean, they were the, the top dogs winning, you know, conference title year after year. You guys changed that last year. You've been told, but uh, a, a big test for, for you guys on Saturday. Definitely. You know, um, a lot of people get caught up in last year, but I've been here for now three years, and this team has – embarrassed us a lot in the past and I've seen a lot of uh, fighting going on and it's definitely a rivalry so you can't get caught up too much in last year there definitely is a chip on our shoulder and a, one conference win isn't enough we're not satisfied a lot of new players on the Jacks this year and uh, so far record wise I mean undefeated um, I, I know going into the seasons like hey you want to do well but did you guys expect to start off uh, four out um you know we were confident is what I'd say uh, coming in we had guys like Alex Rump, who I've been here with for a year. I was confident in him. Nick Kudula was here my freshman year, true freshman year, and I played with him, so I know what he brought to the table. Um, our offensive line, we had Brett, and then uh, Dylan Reagan came in in the spring, along with Max Little, and then Elijah Rule showed up in the summer. So that was another strong point for us. As well as defense, they had a lot of captain and senior leadership there with Jerry, uh, CP, and all those guys, you know. So I was pretty confident coming into the year. Do you, do you feel, I mean, you know, the program for a couple of years, winning the title last year, that when you guys enter these conference games that you look on the back and there is that bullseye that everybody's you know kind of gunning after you guys it's there but we can't we uh, are focused on one game at a time every week so we're not so much worried about you know every week you know these guys are hunting for us but what can we do this week to be successful uh, obviously every win is huge but uh, you know this week at the central I mean each week you guys keep on you know building up the wins moving up in the conference but how huge uh, to be successful up in Central as a boost for you guys, you know, going forward in the season? How big would that be? Um, this is a benchmark game for us. Yeah, it's the hugest test I've seen all year. I'm excited for it. You had a guy named Taylor Boggs come in our uh, meeting last night and fire us up a little bit. You know, the rivalry's here. It's been here for years. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, you guys are just starting off the week, but you guys may be able to coach talk to you guys. They had the game plan uh, for Central this week. Um, somewhat, you know, we got into the film room last night and got to uh, see them for the first time and broke down a little bit of it, saw their defense, um, saw what they brought to the table on the D-line. They had some big boys, which we expect from Central, and uh, I think we can run the ball, you know. I'm confident in our run game. You feel like, too, I mean, players gelling uh, as a team, like we talked about before, uh, new players, but at this point, uh, you, you feel like uh, you guys are, you know, record-wise it's good, but gelling as a team, working together, Team-wise, you guys feel like you're at that point where you know you guys are really gelling, I guess? I feel like last week was our gel game. You know, um, our defense had a huge fourth down stop, and then we went 99 yards uh, returning the ball to it for a touchdown. And that was kind of a point for me where I noticed it the first time, like, wow, okay, we're ready to go. So I think we could have Central any better time. Uh, Campbell gets uh, Special Teams uh, Player of the Week, and, you know, for, for a punter, uh, Happy for the guy. I mean, like, punting a ball. I mean, I went like a punt of ten yards. I think at that, but for, for, for your teammate to get that the recognition, gonna be happy for him. Huh? Yeah, you know, Chris works his butt off. Um, field position is huge in this game, as you all know, and he did a fantastic job punting the ball. I think his average was forty-two point three, if I'm correct, and uh, that is a game changer in itself. You know, pinning them back when we can't, you know, turn over the ball on third downs is huge for our defense. Now for the real question. <laughs> um, yeah, David, you guys have been able to not only open up the run game, but also keep Alex Farbred relatively clean back there quarterback. What has been the success, what is the reason for the success that the offensive line has had so far? Um, I wouldn't put it all on the offensive line. You know, our receivers are doing a great job getting into coverages and identifying coverages. Rump has done a fantastic job improving every week at identifying things. Mm -hmm. And uh, together as a unit, we're able to do that. That isn't just on the offensive line. There you go. You know, I know early on in the year, uh, coaches on both offense and defense said it all begins in the trenches. 
Um, does uh, practicing against the D line that you guys have help you guys every every game? You know, every week when you guys every day when you guys are practicing against each other, mm -hmm. does that help you guys uh, game day? Tremendously, yeah. You know, you have guys like Sean McDonald, um, Salas Sarvinsky, Tommy Stewart, our DNs, and uh, Mark Arian, and uh, the other guys who have that position. We bring it every day. You know, the coach is doing a great job this year, as opposed to other, even more than more so than other years, as creating a, an intense practice format, mm -hmm. which has helped us, and I think translates to the success we're having in games. And final um, <coughs> question for me: the offense. Uh, you guys, you know, usually are up tempo. Um, for you know, opposing defenses. Uh, whenever I talk to them, they talk about you know it gets us a little tired when. Guys are going up tempo. For you as offensive linemen, uh, do you guys feel that same fatigue, or is it, you know, just go out there and get it done? Uh, our conditioning and practice helps us a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, we run a lot of team periods and now and seven periods with our up tempo. Mm -hmm. um, as an offensive lineman, when you start to see the defense fatigue more, mm -hmm. it's kind of a point where you want to turn the afterburners on and kick it in. You see that in their eyes, mm -hmm. and that's when we uh, really think we can play our best football. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an attitude thing. Okay. Excellent. And now they're going to be working out cross country. You guys. <laughs> 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 no way. Maybe two. <laughs>